We're investing in the future of microbiology testing. We're in Basingstoke with another progress report. Meet Dr. Peter Stevens. He's our director of R&D. Peter, we have a complete solution for microbiology testing for our customers, but here in the R&D lab, it's really about investing for the future, and not just here, but around the world. We've got research centers all over the world. We've got centers in the US, in Fremont in California, in Lenexa in Kansas. We've got sites in Europe. We've got in Finland, in Vanta in Finland. We've got a new R&D department in Dartford in the UK and here in Basingstoke we're the global centre of culture media expertise and our involvement is in expanding the existing product range, supporting the existing product range, keeping an eye out on innovation that's required for the marketplace. Well we can deliver them now with the new technologies we can build into the culture media, levels of sensitivities and specificities that are comparable with the latest nucleic acid technologies, really? yet they can get that performance from our product at a fraction of the cost. For existing products, we're always looking to add those extra benefits that the customers require, and those can be to do with improved sensitivity, making sure that the products can detect all of the strains that are important for the customers. It could be in terms of specificity in making our products, um, reducing the number of false positives, and giving them as easier to read a plate as possible, or it might be to do with read time. It's very, very important for the customers to have fast results. And are there any particular kind of projects or uh, thrusts going on right now in terms of your efforts in R&D that you'd want to talk about? We're very active in the clinical sector, in the food sector. There's also water and pharmaceutical testing that we're involved in, the veterinary field, environmental monitoring even. In the clinical field, we have a lot of activity relating to the detection of new emerging antibiotic-resistant organisms, things like MRSA, which is in the news an awful lot, but also there's lots of important, worryingly, uh, increasing organisms that aren't in the news at the moment. So we've, we've got problems around the world with vancomycin resistant enterococci. We've got carbapenem resistant enterobacteriaceae. And I'm sure that list will, will increase further in future years. Here in Basingstoke, focus on cultured media. What about the other global sites you mentioned earlier? Mm -hmm. In the US at our site in Fremont in California, We've got a center of excellence there for lateral flow technology. So these are products very similar to the ones used in the home for home pregnancy testing. In Finland, we've got a new site that's come on board, uh, the legacy Finzymes business that's come on board, and they're experts in nucleic acid technology. So that takes us into the realms of being able to offer PCR technologies and other similar nucleic acid testing technologies. In Dartford, we've got a center of excellence for immunology-based products. These are latex agglutination products um, and things like that. So with so much research and development going on globally in our expanded offering, it really must be that our breadth of offering and depth of capabilities is a real advantage for customers. It is. Customers aren't interested in switching to one technology for all of their testing needs. They recognize now that the different technologies that are on offer suit the different needs that they have. And we as a, as a microbiology business now have the potential to offer almost all technologies that they might need to do everything that they need to do in the microbiology laboratories. Thanks for watching. Explore more at thermoscientific.com.